I think what inspires me the most is my experience in managing patients. I'm a clinician, I see a great number of patients in my day-to-day -day practice, and it's the strength of the human spirit. It's the living with the neurodegenerative diseases that I specialize in. It's unfortunately seeing the inexorable progression of these diseases, and that really encourages me to try to change that natural history and uh, as I say, I'm stimulated by seeing the personal experiences and the strengths of the people that suffer from these diseases. My name is Professor Anthony Lang. I'm the director of the Edmund J. Saffer Program in Parkinson's Disease at the University Health Network and the University of Toronto. And my field is Parkinson's disease and related movement disorders. So the Margulies Prize is a lovely validation of my work over many years and it's exciting to see that the field of Parkinson's and the work that we're doing in Toronto is represented by this award. I think one of the most exciting things that's happened has happened very recently and that is the recognition that these neurodegenerative diseases we deal with relate to the misfolding of proteins that are normally present but become abnormal so whereas until very recently, the diagnosis of Parkinson's, for example, the second commonest neurodegeneration, the diagnosis was exclusively clinical. We're now really standing on the precipice, the verge of having biomarkers that will reliably make a diagnosis to 95% accuracy. And uh, our group has been very actively pursuing this and uh, developing some very exciting uh, pilot data that supports the importance of these kinds of tests. Brain diseases are critical for us to solve and our field in movement disorders isn't where Alzheimer's disease is currently. Alzheimer's is much farther ahead and so we need to see further developments in our field like that. I'm especially inspired by my trainees. We have a very effective and successful fellowship program, probably one of the largest in the world, and I just love working with these young, inspiring uh, individuals that are going to be the future of our field. I think there's a, a tendency for people to want to look for something that's hot or might put them in uh, somebody's uh, mind in a, a forefront uh, kind of uh, position. And I really tell people that they should be doing what they love, what really turns them on, what gets them up in the morning and drives them. If it's not so hot and sexy, keep pursuing it because that's what's going to keep them en enthralled and interested for a career, not something that they've chosen because somebody else says it's important.